Hello guys, how are you doing? It's been a long time. Okay, I'm just gonna make this very quick and I hope I can really speak well. Um, and uh, not too slow because <laughs> I know my friends are a bit different. <laughs> I'm trying but you know my tongue is... Blah. Anyways, so today I'm going to discuss on the topic of age. Age gap or does, uh, does age really... Uh, matter in a relationship well this is such an a subjective matter to discuss and yeah it depends on the individual preference actually but let's go on to like a general I let's say a general view of the matter um, age itself doesn't really matter when it comes to relationship especially when both of you understand respect each other and you jive and connect you know you have the same goals you have the same interest and you go well with each other actually a lot of us also may prefer those who are mature those who are mature or have to have a mature partner uh, it's not actually identified with the age the number per se. Maturity doesn't really is not really based on the number, the age, for example, specifically the number, but it is more based on the actual experiences and the lessons and the learnings that you have learned along the way as you age. Um, of course, it's also important that one should know how to handle certain issues in life in the relationship especially and not because you know they are young or old or you know it's not about age actually um there are as you can see there are other people who by number they are more older but their mind is like 12 year old kid it's an exaggeration but i mean you know they are not firm in their decisions they don't know how to handle life um as it is they don't know how to accept reality of life so they give up uh, all of a sudden when they face difficulties and hardships they let's say they don't try harder to find a resolution or probably they can't handle stress there are also other people or individuals that they are young at age by number but their mind matures early especially when dealing with life with the reality of life with the values that you know they take in the good values they, they take in and they do and they use these values and these uh, learnings in real life and in a good way of course so other factors like life goals wanting or not wanting children having the same values you know and respecting each other i think is more important than the age itself you would also see a lot of young men young women but when it comes to the seriousness in life they're not ripened yet there are also younger people who by age they are young but uh, they can face life i mean they can handle situations critical situations they know what to do and um, they're thinking critically and analyze things critically and can decide on their own and stand on that decision and take accountability but there are who are older <laughs> yeah as I'm saying we have a saying in the Philippines that um, you're you know you're by age you're older but you think like a kid and uh, instead of instead of thinking maturely you're thinking backwards you're going backwards age is just only an aspect of a relationship so sometimes even if there are largely difference in age 
There is no reason that the union between partners is any less sincere or significant than one which is there a close age gap. However, age gaps between partners can can generate self-consciousness about one's relationship or sometimes concerns that the relationship won't work. There is hypersensitivity towards others' ideas about relationship. There are also some studies that relationship satisfaction reported by age gap couples is higher. But again, it's really depending on both of you. Whatever the age or even you know, nationality, race, skin color, political views, religion, it's not really the most important thing in a relationship. Uh, it can affect, yes, it can contribute. But then if you just really love each other and respect each other, and accept each one's flaws and imperfections and weaknesses and strengths. I don't see any problem on that. Honestly. Now, let me tell you about age gap in the Philippines before. Especially, well, there are some cases still that are going on like this. But it's not as really like before. Um, when a Filipina is seen with... A very much older guy of course the society will say oh maybe she's just after for money maybe the guy is rich and yes this one this came this teasing and some sort of how you say phenomenon <laughs> like the four m's matandang mayaman madaling mamamatay which is like old rich guy that is soon to you know pass yeah, this is the common connotation of people in the society before in the Philippines. And then if they see younger men with older women, they would again have this thinking that oh, maybe the girl or the woman is rich, so he's also after for money. Or, you know, they call, they call her sugar mommy, <laughs> sugar daddy and sugar mommy. It's like that. Before, there are some that they don't really care. Well, it's love, it's love. But, you know, there it's not as open as now that there is a trending right now going on that older women and younger men, Philippine men, younger uh, girls, Filipinas, and older men. So now it's it has passed already, all these things. People are very open to accept and they understood already that. It's really about love. There is still majority of Filipinas who still wants older or prefer older men. Depends maybe 5 years gap, 10 years gap, or even more, much more older. Because of, of course, stability. In terms of decision making, in terms of leading them, in terms of guiding them, in terms of disciplining them, and of course, financial stability. It's really granted that men are there to protect and provide. But also you have to take note that women should reciprocate it by taking care of him, by respecting him, by considering him as your leader, the man of the house, the head of the family. That's it. Again and again I'm saying that because many still don't understand how it works in the Philippines. Now, there are also a lot of reasons why most Filipinas like or prefer older men, matured men than them. Um, let's say age also. Because, yes, yeah, stability, um, then uh, they don't, you know, want to jump into one relationship to another. Less philandering or less, you know, these things usually, okay, mostly in the philippine setting that's how it is there are also like really nature natural men who are really like likes girls a lot so but this is usually like that that when a man is already very serious and very faithful and loyal that he really falls in love with the filipina so 
these things aren't happening anymore. Um, and of course, for guidance and protection, being a leader, and of course, three, security and assurance. So they are assured that, um, yeah, the tendency of sleeping around, the tendency of, you know, uh, playing around. Uh, again, uh, we also know in the Philippines that, yes, it's man's nature to do that, but as long as it's not really that serious most Filipinas doesn't really care about that anymore I mean they already silently understood that as long as the man is not really you know um, getting giving he giving the other girl how you say the same privileges that a wife should have like providing supporting have a house buy a house for her and sleeping really like a reg on a regular basis so it's already like mistress or concubine something like or a, param a paramour i mean so hmm, they say <laughs> it's gonna be difficult for a filipina really they don't really like that it's also understandable that men really all over the world really prefer younger women of course because men are visuals you know physical appearance let's admit it of course they're more attractive right um and another one practical reason is for childbearing and they are more capable to do so and they have you know more energy let's say to take care of everything unlike with the older women let's say no no offense or whatsoever like there is um, a diff really a difference when it comes to performance let's say i don't know okay i mean not that one performance that you're thinking probably it's part of it but you know other things like um responsibilities and duties inside the house and of course important really for men is you will really look good you are fit you are in shape and you are younger looking skin <laughs> not me <okay. laughs> all right so that's it and uh, we respect that and we understand that. but if it's love really these things are forgotten when two people found each in other's arms with full of love full of respect full of value full of reciprocation and doing all their respective roles no problem okay bye see you again i hope i can manage to really come um, you know make up the missed days bye i have to rush but take care